Hi gang, we're back for another episode of Cranking Out Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make your own ear wires. This is a really great way to personalize your handmade jewelry and convenient in case you do run out. If you're like me, you like to beat at night and if you run out of supplies you can always make your own. Um, a lot of times ear wires, if you're making your own, you'll use anywhere from 20, 21, or 22 gauge wires. 20 gauge is nice for larger ear wires. And 22 would be great for the smaller ones because it is thinner. So 21 gauge is right in between, perfect, right in between, but a little bit tough to find. Um, you can also Add your own embellishment to your own ear wires that you make in order to kind of tie in with the design of your earrings. So I'm going to show you a way to make a pair at one shot. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a pair in one shot. Now, I'm going to be using some thicker gauge wire just so that it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing. I'm working with 18 gauge. I'm not, this is not a gauge that I would actually make real life ear wires out of. It's kind of thick. So, I'm going to take, I'm going to go long and I'm going to take 8 inches of wire, cutting it. At the midpoint, I am going to fold it in half, or, or where I hope it's going to be the halfway point, just like so. And now I'm going to be working with two wires at the same time. We sell this um, stainless steel ruler that I really like using when I make my own ear wires. So I'll hold the bend slightly past the one centimeter point and then I'll press the two lines down to create a 90 degree angle. From here I can use my six step pliers and using the largest step press the excess around right up to this point and now as you can see I used way too much wire so I'm going to trim that down and if and if it was shorter you would probably have to trim anyway just to get the two ends even. We're going to take a pair of pliers and just bend the ends up slightly so that when somebody is wearing this, it's less likely to fall out of their ears. Um, now there's two things you can do. Well, actually two tools you can use because we want to smooth down the cut end of the ear wires so that it's comfortable when they're putting it in and out of their ears. So you can do a manual wire and wire rounder and manually round it up like so. Um, this is a really simple handheld tool. But there's another tool that we have in our stores. It's used with the battery operated bead reamer and it's an ending you can put into the bead reamer so that you can round wire. So it comes in two different sizes. I'm using the one for 20 gauge and we have one for 18 and 16 gauge. So all you do is just put it into the little pocket, hit the button and it will round the end for you and it works really fast. I love this tool a lot. After this, I usually throw, I keep it together. Um, until I'm ready to use it. 
but I'll make a bunch of these. I'll throw it into the rock tumbler, rock and jewelry tumbler to tumble it up. It'll help to harden the ear wire as well as polish it up. Now, if you don't have a rock and jewelry tumbler, you can use a rubber mallet. After cutting it apart, you can place it on your bench block and hammer it down with the rubber mallet. It won't change the shape of the wire. It'll keep it nice and round for you. And you can also embellish your ear wire after, maybe with some colorful beads or different kind of wires. And there's different styles that you can make depending on the tools. We used our wrap and tap to create this style. So as, as you can see, it's a really nice way, easy way, so that you can make your own ear wires and make things a little bit more personal.